गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड यू आर गिविंग टाइम टू वीडियोज ऑल्सो एज वेल एज नोट्स दैट आर सेंड टू यू वाई आर व्हाट्सएप students today i will discuss a new chapter that is css cascading style sheet first of all you have to know why we use the css see in your book it is written my dear that we can develop a style sheet containing different tags and their attributes linked to the web page please keep it in mind whenever i am talking about the css many things that comes to my mind what my coding will be less i can use a tag and which that tag i can have multiple words like i am talking about the heading tag if i am talking about h1 tag and if i formatted this h1 tag in a css via the selector property and value how many times i use h1 that all will have the same effect but if i am doing this work in html where in web page i define six h1 tag so everywhere i have to give the formatting effect like even i want that h1 all heading that means first level heading should have color green so everywhere i have to use font color green font color green font color. to overcome from such a situation we use the css so when i will discuss advantages and disadvantages you will understand each and every topic so first of all i am going to talk about the main difference between the html and css html is a markup language that is used to specify the contents of a web page listen my dear while css is a style sheet language that is used to specify the formatting of web pages please keep it in mind yes so you can format your web page how you want it is totally up to you my dear even though html can also specify formatting of a web page using css for this purpose would be more effective since it would allow separation of contents from presentations and and site wide consistency this part already i discussed you before that whenever you are going to have your css yes your coding will be small as compared with the html whatever formatting effect that you will apply in html that will be vast as compared to css now first of all i am going to work on advantages so first of all what is my first part css save times why css save times because your coding is small you can write css once and then reuse the same sheet in multiple html web pages it means that i am having one html file second html third html and if i am having a single css this css can be implemented to my first html second html document as well as the third one that means i have to not write the same coding again and again only i will link this css to this three web pages now next topic that is easy maintenance why it is easy maintenance 
team whatever the codings that you have that is in the compact form i'm giving one example suppose you are having 10 books on yourself and other self contains 100 books you think yourself if anyone ask you to take out one book then whose work will be easier the person who is only having 10 books on the self because he has to search only 10 but to that student to whom i have said you said to search that book he will take more time because he has to go through first and last book and then he will decide which book has to be taken out now next topic that is global wave standard as you know css can be executed on each and every web browser but one disadvantage is there some web web browser doesn't support maybe whatever formatting effects that you have given to the css using the html maybe that effect cannot be shown on the web browser this is the main disadvantage but whatever the standards norms that yes your html has for the web page same your css also now the next one is a platform independence that means that whatever the coding that you have written this coding not only will be implemented on your windows operating system it can be for unix it can be for linux that means whichever the operating system that you have yes these all operating system will support cs css like i am having windows operating system if i am using the google chrome yes whatever css coding is written yes so for any website that i can yes execute will not only if you are having your unix operating system there also you can use it yes if you have your linux yes there also you have even you have your android operating system your smartphone there also if you have the mac operating system then also you can run the css code there is no difficulties in that one now time saver why it is said time saver because it takes less time because the coding is short next one web pages are easier to load yes obviously if the coding will be small then your uploading of any contents to your own website suppose i am the owner of website i have written the css coding and while uploading it will not take time even when i am downloading that one then also it will not take time and my web page is that is designed via the css and the html yes that will also be executed or loaded very quickly my dear so these all are the advantages of css now some more are given in your book like uh, css is easy to maintain yes already this i discussed easy maintenance already i have discussed so these are the main advantages my dear so that's why we use css nowadays many websites you will see they have the html but generally the formatting effects that are done via the css you can click the right mouse button go to inspect element and you will see the coding the codings are related to css not only css some other are there xml codings are also there so but you have to know formatting effects generally the website owners are giving by the help of css because it is easier when i will discuss this all codings you will understand and you will surely say sir html is a little bit tough as compared to css now students i will be going to discuss the disadvantages of css so first one is css has different syntax from html yes like i am talking about your color suppose if in html if you are said 
that you have to make any text any text color as green then what you are writing code font and then you are using color and then you are using this you are using and then you are writing the text and then slash font okay now here no need to worry my dear only you have to use the two parts if i am talking about the css only you have to write the two part one is the property what is the property color and you have to use the separator that is a colon and then a value is what green only this you have to write not only you see font allows only the three work to do color size and the face but via this one you can add one more property and value like align colon left both will work and whatever the sip you have using the selector that all will be having the same color green and if you have used align then it will have the same alignment whatever it is left right and center it means that one selector can have different properties but here in html you are restricted that if you are using font only three part that you can use it that is color size and the face other than you cannot do it now the next disadvantage is css behaves differently with different web browser already i discussed this is the main disadvantage maybe whatever your output but listen your text will remain same my dear but maybe in other web browser if you have applied bold effects to the text maybe that bold effect will not work it will behave in other way text will be there but it cannot be formatted in some web browser it can be formatted so this is the main drawback understood of css but if you will go through all then all are what the advantages of css okay now i am going to discuss the next part yes how you will use how you will use first of all you have to know the css syntax see whenever you are writing please keep it in mind first one you should have the selector and after selector you have to use curly brace clear and then you have to use property and then the colon and then the value got it now again i am showing you my dear this one in big now you can see this one here what is a selector what is a property and what is a value i will discuss this in other way in other way you can say this is just like a tag understood like i am giving one example suppose i have given p and here i have used color as red now what is a p p actually it is a tag which is defined in your html understood now it is saying that whatever the text that is inside the paragraph tag must have the color as red understood so here if you have to differentiate my dear then you will say p is the selector color is the property and red is the value my dear now i will give some more examples by which you can understand it let me erase this one and then i will have a new coding yes
now here i am going to have one part that is paragraph okay p p and here i am going to use the background background dash color and then green green now here you see this is looking different my dear yes but you have to understand p everyone is knowing p is what my selected no one is having any problem in this one now this one is the background actually background is the property but in background you have different sub property so that's why whenever you are having sub properties yes of property my dear that means if you are having sub property of property in that case you must have to give a dash i am giving one more example by which you can understand it here i am using margin now margin if i am using it can be left margin can be right margin can be center now this is my property and this is the sub property now i can use my value that is 20 20 i am using px here i am using 24 px and here i am using 45 px now please look at the board at the screen my dear now you see margin is what margin is my property it says that when i am using the margin property then it has the three sub types what are that left right i am not talking about the value and then center now actually this is the property and this is its part but what will be the measurement of your left margin that i will define it by px that is pixel what will be the right margin that i will define this one as the value what will be the center yes that i will define here but actually here i will not use center only i will use left and right i will ignore this one got it so you don't think that only property and value i will write my work will be over no some properties contains some yes more facilities that can be given to the user to explore this one yes on the web page so i hope you have understood these all topics thank you my dear